Hello, everybody. Welcome to my live stream. I see a lot of people in here already. <laughs> you guys are great for supporting me. I do appreciate it. I know that Scott Jacobs in appreciation is here. Gracie Seeking Adventures. Little Bit Crazy 84. Hello. How are you doing? I'm glad you're here. Don Gonzalez. I have a new friend I would like everybody to meet, Stella's RV Adventures. She's a new person in our community. I would love it every, if everybody would say hello to her. Uh, she needs to know how wonderful this community of YouTubers and subscribers are. Anyhow, so welcome, Stella. I'm glad you're here. First thing I want to do today is thank all my moderators for always doing such a great job on my live streams. Please, moderators, put your links in the chat so that people that don't know you can go and visit your channels. I'm doing this format completely different from usual. Today I have uh, Scott's laptop next to me. I'm going to try to not lose so much of the chat conversation. I, I'm going to try to follow it a little better. Um, today, the only other links besides my moderator's links that I want on my channel are for the people I shout out and the super chats. Uh, also, I wanted to mention we're going to have a meetup in Courtside in January, and Papa Drew's been pretty much organizing that. I don't really know if he's in the chat yet. So if he is, go ahead and put that link in. If not, maybe one of my moderators can put the link. Oh, my goodness. I see I'm already missing these. Uh, see, whoa, I got a $50. Wow. Thank you, Gracie Seeking Adventures. $50 super chat from her. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Um uh, so anyhow, if somebody can put that link for the courtside meetup, and I also, looks like I got another one. Um, my goodness. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, this guy, Nomadic Hippie is here, and he's also sent me a super chat. Thank you. And Iggy Threadgood. Uh, I still love that name. What movie was that? It was... Uh, Driving Miss Daisy, I think, or somebody. The movie that had Iggy Threadgood. So, so thank you very much for your super chat. Oh, my goodness. I, there's coming in so fast I can't even keep track of, track of them. James Candonese. You guys really shouldn't do that. I do appreciate it. What I wanted to say is um, I do appreciate my friends here who don't self-promote. I give everyone a chance to do this when I do the recognition of the NMCCs, BBs, and AAs. So then that's the best time you can let people see that you do content. Uh, this is not a place to ask people to friend me or sub to me because I sub to you. That's not what this channel is about. We're here to support each other and it's the topics I share are for everyone. If you see someone that you're not connected to, go to their channel. Leave them a message about what you liked about their video and maybe what you have in common with them. That's a really good way to build loyal friends who will keep coming back. Uh, thank you, Thin Blue Lane RV Life. I, I, I hope I don't miss these people that are sending me super chats. Um, because I do really do appreciate it. Let's see if I have it in here. Cause, okay, so I'm going to do the recognition in a few minutes, but I wanted to say thank you to the people who sent me super chats last week uh, as stickers and PayPal gifts. I use this money to put right back into my channel for giveaways, super chatting, other channels, and donated to the people who have special one-time emergencies or needs in this community of friends. 
What I can do each week depends on the support I received the previous week after YouTube and Apple get their cut. <laughs> so thank you for your gifts from last week and thank you for the gifts today already. You, you people are amazing. I'm just, I'm always so amazed that people do this for me. Marie Riddick, thank you for your super chat. Okay, so I want to recognize the people that sent me super chats last week. I want to say thank you to ZX24Me, Naj Ruqui, Linda R, Vanderella, Tommy Travels, Donna Ellsworth, Van Life Rocks, Peace and Love, and TLB. Some of these people have content channels. Some of them don't. They just come to support me. I uh, thank you so much. I do try to support these channels, and you need to do this too because they're all great content people or great subscribers that come in and support you. So go to go to try to support some of these people. Whether you send gifts or not to me, I want to treat you all the same. I appreciate your help, but I never expected. Either way, if you come here or watch my videos, I would try to return my support as my channel gets larger and larger all the time. Today, I have about 6,225 6, subscribers. Thank you, Jerry Holly. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Um, and so the truth of the matter is my time is very limited. I can I do watch the com comments on my videos and go through my subs subscriptions periodically and try to catch all those I have missed. But it really is a po impossible. Also, you if you watch a few of the ads I on my videos, I make a few cents from YouTube from that. So I just wanted to say thank you to all the people that are here supporting me. I do appreciate you. You are very special to me. Don't ever have to feel like you have to send me anything. I'm here for you. Okay. Anyhow. Uh, so I wanted to talk about another thing. As you know, the format has changed on my um, stream today because I don't have Blue Wave with me. He's traveling, and he would have stopped traveling just to be here, but I told him it wasn't necessary. I do have Roy and Scott right here, right next to me, if I need them for anything. And besides, I decided I have to take off the training wheels. I have to get busy trying to do some of this myself. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I see 59 in the people in the room. Oh, thank you, Linda R., and thank you for your love and prayers. Um, so, um, where was I? <laughs> okay. Okay. So, today, we're still going to do giveaways, but we're not going to use the will. Super and Man Statue Cam, thank you. You guys are amazing. <laughs> okay. What I would like to do is everybody hold up on the chat for about a minute. Anybody that is in here that does not do content videos, please type an N in in the chat. Only the people that don't do content videos on their channels. I like to show my appreciation for these people. They have no skin in the game. They don't really benefit from us, except that maybe they get some pleasure from watching our videos, of course. But I do like to always show uh, my appreciation for these guys. Thank you so much for coming and supporting all of our channels. So many here. We have a lot of in-ins I see today. So if you type it, please only type it once, people, when I ask you to type something in chat, because then it gets confusing. If you type it twice, and we realize that you typed it twice, you won't be qualified for that giveaway. Okay, so on this one here, I have picked a number out ahead of time. So I didn't have any idea how many NMs I would have here today, but I do have a lot. So I wrote that down. I said typed. Actually, I wrote the number down. 
I'm going to show you the, the number I wrote down. Is the number seven. So the seventh in 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 the chat. I would like a a little confirmation from my uh, moderators. I'm going to check and see who who was the seventh in in that typed in the chat. So I'm going to have to go through here. Okay, let's see where are we at. <laughs> I'm going to go back to where I see the first in ins. Okay, Will Nelly. Okay, it's after Will Nelly. I have Flower Child, Rescue Pits 09, Sharon Freeman, uh, Gracie Seeking Adventures, Mary Jones, Sharon Freeze, Jonathan Lewis, Anne S., Linda R., Tracy Lucy, Losey, I'm sorry, I said that wrong again, didn't I? I thought I had it down. Cat C., Bax 3, Darlene C., uh, Mary Riddick, uh, Maggie2263, Mary Swanson, and let's see, Kathleen Klein. So let's see, Sandra Kenny, Victoria Kerr. I think I already said Judy Smiley. Uh, so thank you all my Indians for being here. I thank you so much. So the seventh one. I'm going to count and get real fast. I look like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Confirm for me, Roy or Scott. I believe it is Jonathan Lewis. Tell me if I have that number correct. Uh, thank you, Deborah right. Sterling. Okay, so uh, if we'll, if Jonathan Lewis will please send me an email to deelugden1 at gmail.com, and I would appreciate if you would do, send me the email so I, uh, and with your shipping address. I need your shipping address to, in order to send you a gift. I'm going to try, I don't think I can do the share screen. I'll tell you what the gift is. Is a gift from Amazon. The gift is a multi-spice container shaker with multiple spices in it. And it's good for campers and non-campers alike. So I want to send that to Jonathan Lewis. Please send me an email with your mailing address so I can get that shipped out to you. Okay, before I go any further, I know there's a lot of people I didn't recognize for being here. There are so many people already here today. It's crazy. I I will probably miss a lot of your names, but I just want to thank you all for being here. And please, everybody, especially my moderators, will greet anybody that, that is in here that I might might miss. I'm sure they're already doing that. I can see a lot of hellos to people. So, um, my goodness, I can't go through 61 people to find out everybody. Everybody, please, don't aff be offended if I don't name you personally. I see so many people I haven't seen a whole lot of lately. So, Casual Girl Adventures is here. Steve Turtle is here. Lucky Dog Moderator, Production Moderators, JTS Outdoor, uh, Whoa, Nelly, I see you a lot. Thank you for all your support. Uh, Maggie2263, she, she's a great supporter. Mel Nettie is a wonderful supporter, and she does such good moderating. I do appreciate you, Mel Nettie. I'm sure it's Nettie, probably. <laughs> it's about time now. Is here. RV Ashes in April. Like I said, I, I know I'll miss 90% of the names that are in there. Thank goodness I already named the NNs. <laughs> so that's a start. So thank you again for all be all of you people that are here. So the next pe people I would, would like to recognize, if you do do content videos on your channel, Please type CC in the chat along with the number of subscribers you have. 
If you notice these guys that don't have a lot of subscribers, go check out some of their channels. Say something about their videos on in your in their comments. Tell them what you liked about them, and they will really appreciate it. And ninety nine percent of the time, these people people will come back to you. So I see a uh, Fordman has two ninety nine. So he's getting up there, and RZ's R D R designate. She she changed her name name with my tongue tied all the time. Our designations. <laughs> Aaron Jameson, I'm so glad you're here. Uh, okay, so he has 11,000 subscribers and people, he's here all the time. He's supporting us. He's a big channel. But uh, I tell you, you can't discount these big channels that come in and watch you and support you. Um, so, okay. So ever all the CCs are should be in there, and I want to thank everybody that does content. Also, I do appreciate all of your support. You know, I know you have busy lives too, and sometimes it's just hard to fit everything in your life and still run a YouTube channel. Believe me. So the next people I really want to recognize is. The people that do have 1,000 subscribers, we had a lot of people this week that reached 1,000 subscribers. And I want to recognize these people. They have, most of them have less than 4,000 watch hours, so they're not monetized. And so they need us to watch their videos and play their playlists so they can get the watch hours. So type in BB in the chat, please. BB along with how many hours you have in the with right next to the BB. Type in how many hours you have. Uh, wow, did I miss another? Hopefully, I didn't miss anything. Okay, this chat is scrolling fast. Hello, Nomadic Hippie. I just saw that you were here. <laughs> okay, let's see who I'm missing. And I hope I said hello to Camper Life. Uh, I'm glad you're here. Um, let's see, boy, just crazy. I already have problems with chat. I really having problems today because my eyes are bothering me a little bit. Okay. Oh, uh, Aaron Jamison, 80k, 80,000. Wow. Tommy travels is here. Thank you, Tommy, for your super chat. I appreciate it. I'm glad you made it today. I know you're very busy too. So, where are we at? Okay. So, please, people, the people that type BB in the chat, make sure you go and play their playlists or at least watch a few videos you can binge watch and support these channels so they can get monetized. Um, the next people I want to recognize, I did recognize Aaron Jemison. I'm going to type my little AA in the chat. And what I want to say about the people that AA is they are already monetized. They have their thousand subscribers and they have their 4,000 watch hours. They are monetized, yet they're still here with us. They're still supporting our channels. They're still watching our videos and coming to our live streams. And I want to thank these guys for their wonderful support. Okay, so I hope I got everybody. Actually, I didn't. If you are new here, if this is the very first time you come to my live stream, stream please type new in the chat. And I want everybody to welcome these new people that are here. Thank you for coming. I don't know how you found out about me, but I'm sure you found out about my live stream from other channels that in, in, they, they support me. So thank you, all, all the new people. Thank you. And I do know that Stella is new here, and I invited her to come, and let's make her welcome. welcome. Happy Scamper is a new person. Cindy Simple Living is new. I'm so glad you're here. Welcome, everybody. Okay. So, 
I'm going to do a couple of shout outs today to a couple really good channels. So bear with me for a second. Okay. The first person I would like to shout out, let me get the link and put it in, in the chat. The first person I'm shouting today is James Cantonese. James Cantonese. James and Cindy. Hang on. Let me get here. Control B. This is their channel link. And James <coughs> and Cindy, they share cooking videos and how they live their life together. James is a, is a disabled vet and he has one leg. And he drove a semi for about 32 years. He says, we only have one life to live. Enjoy life while you can. So I wanted to share James Cantonese. Please, people, if you don't know James and Cindy, go check out their channels today sometime and watch a video. Okay. So the next pe person I would like to shout out is Traveling Salvation. So Traveling Salvation, let me get his link in the chat. So Traveling Salvation is Ben and Rebecca. They live in a 37-foot Class A that they bought on the cheap and completely renovated it. I enjoyed their uh, interview on, I believe, I can't remember who interviewed, interviewed them yesterday or the day before. They talk about how they share the ways that people can finance their RV lifestyle and how can do it very cheaply. And that's how they do it. They go to thrift stores and um, um, sec uh, secondhand stores and different places where they're discount stuff. And um, they actually make a living by buying and selling stuff. So... Oh, that's right. It was the art of barbing that did the thank you, Camper Life, for reminding me. So, yes, these uh, guys are really good <laughs> and very, very sweet. Um, so I enjoyed their interview. So check them out. The next thing I want to mention is the art of barbing is going to be doing a gong show. Yes, with the gong. And they're looking for people that are willing to come up on their gong show and uh, do a little skit or some some kind of talent and share it on their uh, their live stream, I believe, in two weeks. I think it's around the 22nd. So you, if you're interested in doing something on that, send them an email. You can find it on their uh, in their about section on their channel page for the email address and send them an email and tell them what you think you would like to do. That should be a lot of fun. And I already agreed I would do it. So we'll see how that goes. Okay. So let's see where we're at next. Okay. The next thing I want to do is another giveaway. So please everybody wait and count to 10 and then Type only one time, please. Type comment in the chat. Please, everybody, type comment in the chat. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, Cat. I think it will be great. So we're going to wait a minute because it takes a while for this many people to type that in there. Uh... What did I do? There it is. So again, we're not going to do the wheel, but this giveaway is for a $10 Amazon e-card. So as soon as I think everybody's in there and uh, I don't see a bunch of other chat, then we're going to... Are we picking a number? Yeah, the remember second one? 
Okay. So, um, oh, that's right. I kind of screwed that up, people. Nothing new for me. <laughs> Actually, if would, everybody would only type one time, a number between 1 and 70. No other comments. Just the un, one time, type a number between 1 and 70. 1 and 71. <laughs> Sorry, I told you everybody to put comment. I see the numbers are coming in now. So I have already picked a number in, in advance. And the person, the first person that types that number will be the winner of a $10 Amazon e-card. As soon as I see the numbers stop coming in, then we'll announce. And I'll have Roy or Scott confirm the the person I find. I'm going to try to find it. Let's see. Uh, I don't see the number yet. There's a lot of numbers in there, but I don't see the number yet. So if we don't have the number in there, we'll do it again. Pick a dip. I'll tell you. Don't do it yet. I'll tell you when to do it. Let's see. So I think the last person that types in typed a number in there was Hazzy Claus. So that's not the right number. But okay, let's start over again. I'm gonna type something in the chat. As soon as I see you you see my word that comment, type in a new number. That's well we'll know where to go back. Okay. So that should work. Okay. So type in a new number one more time. Let we try to get the number. Got it. Okay, I see one. I see it. Okay, let everybody. Well, this is the first person that typed in the number. And what I see is Mel Netty. Living free zip code list. All right. You got that? Okay, thank you guys. I appreciate your help on that. So the number, correct number was 22. And that was Mel Nettie Living Free Zip Code List. Congratulations. Mel Nettie, send me an email. I may have it, but just in case, send me an email so I can get your Amazon e-card out to you. Thank you, everybody, for participating in that giveaway. I see other 22, but it was too late. <laughs> it was for the first one that typed it. I saw casual girl got it. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. So I uh, thank you guys. That was fun. Um, so I do like the wheel, but I can't do it today. It's just too hard for me to figure out how to do this all by myself. Okay. So, okay. So the next thing I would like to talk about is the top topic for today. Today I'm we're going to talk about camping essentials and gadgets. So I'm going to share some of the things I think are essential first and then I would while I'm sharing this please type in the chat if you think you think something else is essential I'll try to see if I can see the chat enough to add that comment okay the first thing that is to me is an absolute essential is a comfortable place to sleep when you're camping either a good mattress a cot a good padded uh floor space whatever you have to do to be comfortable when you sleep you need to be able to stretch out i know people that actually sleep in their cars sitting up in the front seat the circulation cannot move in your legs you can get can, can cause serious problems in your legs if you sit for eight or ten hours straight without getting to move around so a comfortable bed is very important. The next thing that you need to have when you're camping 
as a, a way to cook food. Uh, there's They sell on Amazon all the time, little one burner, both um, two-way stoves with that use both propane or butane for like, I don't know, 35, 40 bucks. And you can cook anything on a single burner. You can even make an oven out of a, using a single burner by using a Dutch oven and another pot inside that. And a little water around that will cause it, the inside pot to get hot with the lid on it. It'll bake whatever you need to bake. That's a little tip, tips and tricks. So that's one way you can do it. A stick stove. I see that J. Charles Outdoors, yes, you can build a stick stove. I've seen rocket stoves made out of bricks. Um, campfires, actually, if you have some way to put some kind of a grill item on top of the rocks around your campfire, you can cook on a campfire. Use aluminum foil, if you, even if you don't have uh, cooking uh, pans to go on the fire. Uh, Deborah says, I use a, hang on, that went fast. Uh, I, Deborah Starling says, I use an egg crate, a fluffy doubled over comforter to sleep in, four inch foam, then my sleeping bag. That would be very comfortable. Um, Stella says, when I run into a cloudy day and my solar is running low, I have a solar powered light bulb called Bull Light Bulb. It also has a USB cord. So I guess she's using that to kind, kind of keep her space uh, warm. Let's see what else I see. Any other comments in there? I used to give my uh, nomadic hippie says I used to give him his uh, Dutch ovens away. He doesn't anymore, I guess. <laughs> Good idea to hang on to those. Get a small generator and get an electric small cooking stove, says Crazy, Crazy Shepherd. I won't get all your comments, people, but I'm trying to catch a few of them. Okay, what is, it, what is the next essential item? It's good bedding to go with your bed. You have to be able to get warm at night. Because even in the desert where I live, it gets cold at night. So you have to have ways to stay warm. Along with that thought, you really need clothing that is good for cold and hot weather. At least two or three changes of each. And you know, you can, you can always always wash your clothes out by hand and hang them on a rock or a tree or something. But you do need a couple changes of both warm and cold uh, clothing. Uh, Say. Hang on, I'm missing a lot of comments. Matches, Lindy Oki. Yeah, you don't want to start a fire with the matches, though, unless it's in an enclosed area. Uh, uh, slow momentum responded. Let's see what slow momentum said. I didn't get that. Um, okay, I didn't see what slow momentum said. I still can't find it, so... Okay, um, I would, hang on. Yeah, matches are essential, definitely. Let's see, where I will be charging and radio with USB built in so I can change, charge things like phone, anything USB. I use it when I'm sitting outside, yes. Uh, a camping chair is an uh, absolute essential when you're camping. And really, the best thing is a lightweight camping chair because you want to go visit your, your neighbors. You don't want to have to carry a great big heavy uh, folding chair. A lightweight one for taking to other places is great. Uh, that's a very good suggestion. Let's see what else. Um, um, something said about the dollar store. Oh, yes. Tarps and bungee cords. Absolutely a necessity. Uh, camping therapy says porta potty. A porta potty can be a bucket with a bag and a little pine needles in there to absorb the smells and the moisture. And you just have to make sure you um, 
put some kind of a lid to keep bugs and smells out. Um, and then make sure you wrap it up really good if you're going to dispose of it in a trash somewhere. You can bury uh, waste in the like in up in the national forest. You can dig a hole that is about close to 12 inches deep. Make sure you bury that completely. I get so tired of seeing people's toilet paper flying all over the place. Make sure you bury whatever you do put in the ground. It's it's compost, really, is all it is. And people get a little um, concerned about putting bags with their waste in the trash. But the truth of the matter is, you know, people that have babies put their diapers in the trash and all kinds of other things. Food waste smells just as bad. So just make sure you wrap it up so everybody doesn't have to deal with your waste <laughs> and make sure it's, you know, sealed really well. Okay, so what uh, I'm going to share a few items that I have. I think they are essentials. Oh, the other absolute essential is water. Water. You have, you can, cannot survive without water. Um. Yes, um, see last video, Linda Barker. I'm uh, actually I'm doing a series of videos about how I started out in my car. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. I put out the first one this week. Next week, I'm going to be talking about camping essentials and what I had in my car. So this is the first thing I want to show you. I have a little teapot. I boil water for coffee for tea, for uh, any kind of warm beverages. Yeah, I can boil water to make um, hot cereal and just pour it in a bowl over an instant oatmeal or instant cream of wheat. You can pour boiling water from this in a packet of a top ramen, whatever. I use this to boil water for my ba baths because I bathe out of pans. And I boil the water and put it in the pans. Thank you, Van Life Rocks, for your super sticker. I appreciate that. Um, so I use this pot for boiling water. That's all I use this pot for. So that, to me, uh, one pot that's separate from your cooking pots. You don't want the ta taste uh, 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 other things in your pots, okay? So just plain water. I keep that. Another thing I use a lot is a little wire whip. I have three or four different sizes on these. You can use a wire whip to mix, say, powdered milk. Um, in uh, making a gravy, you can whip it really good. I use that all the time. Um, my, I don't know about other people, but when you are have some handicaps, sometimes you need ergonomic things. Thank you, Super Day 44, for your super sticker. Thank you so much. So it's hard for me, very hard for me to open jars. I have this gripper as a small end and a big end, and the middle opens really big, okay? So I can open the jars with this just putting on the top of the jar. It makes a, even a soda pop bottle with a little end. Um, is difficult for me. After I broke my wrist, I couldn't open anything. So I really needed this. Okay, so that's one thing I have. And I want to share with another item. I talked about ergonomic. There's a lot of potato peelers out there. Usually they're wobbly and they the metal outside. They're not comfortable, especially if you have wrist problems. I have a wonderful ergonomic uh, potato peeler. It's made by, what is, I can't read it. You know my eyes. <laughs> I think it's BHG. I believe I bought it on Amazon quite a few years ago. It's lasted forever. It's stainless steel, doesn't rust. Thank you, TLB, for your super sticker. I appreciate that. So anyhow, that's a wonderful potato peeler. The next thing I want to share with you, have you ever struggled with a hand-operated can opener? 
That's a necessity. You have to have a can opener. Yes, today they have a lot of pop tops, but not everything is popped up. <laughs> so when I broke my wrist, I couldn't open a can of soup. So this is an ergonomic can opener. It's wonderful. When I broke my wrist, I had to do everything with my left hand. So I put, put this on the can. I could hold this down with my arm. And then I twisted this. It's got a big handle. And it turns really easy. And it goes around the can fast so you don't have to do it forever. Okay. I got this also on Amazon. And I don't know what brand it is. But look for ergonomic or handicap kitchen accessories on um, Amazon or Google, whatever. Here's another thing. How many times you wish you had your butters all melted? You made toast in the morning on your fancy little camping toaster. Take the melted butter and use a basting brush. Brush the butter on the toast or brush uh, sauces for barbecued meats and stuff with a basting brush. To me, that's an essential when in the kitchen. I use that all the time. Here's one more thing I use a lot. <sighs> tongs. And you don't want those little plastic tongs. They drop everything. Get a set of good metal tongs. These are wonderful. You can lift, if you have to, a lid from a pot. You can turn meat with it. You can do a million things with a good set of metal tongs. Okay. I'm seems I'm getting long winded here. So, um, oh, the last things I wanted to share real quick. This is my little coffee filter. I set it on a cup. It's, uh, uh, collapsible. So I c actually, I don't, I always put a filter paper filter in it because it's harder to clean without it. So I use this, set it on the cup, put my filter in there, put how much coffee I want for coffee, and uh, then I just pour boiling water over it. It goes right through. Within two minutes, you have a wonderful cup of hot coffee. That's one item. Another thing is chip clips. You can use them for a whole lot more than potato chips, believe me. You can hook a curtain over here where you want it out the way, hook it. I use these every day, chip clips and bungee cords. We already mentioned bungee cords. You need uh, several different sizes. I use these little ones right here to secure like my fan and my coffee mug when I, uh, coffee pot when I travel so it doesn't fly all over, all over the truck. And another thing essential is lighting. There's all kinds of solar uh, lights on out there on Amazon, different places you can buy them. I started out in my car using Lucy lights. These put out a lot of light. Your hat it has to get the air out of it, into it to expand. It expands. I don't want to take the time, but it expands. It has a, it has a solar panel on top. You set it out in the sun. For a few hours every day, it'll last six to eight hours through the night, really, if you want to have a light all night. And it put out really good light in a small area. You might need two or three if it's a bigger area. You need a sauce pot and a skillet. So a sauce pot uh, for boiling soups or making vegetables or whatever. Um, and this is... Probably my favorite item. Item I have a couple of these. This is a ten-inch cast iron skillet, and it's wonderful. You can cook on an open grill. You can cook on a campfire. You can cook on your stove top. You can put these in the oven. So cast iron is wonderful. Okay, that's the last item I'm going to show you. Except these right here, screwdrivers. I don't care who you are, man, woman, child. You always need a screwdriver. You don't want to bend up all your butter knives. And I've done that many, many times. So make sure you have a screwdriver. I have a Phillips and a straight edge. 
And I also 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 in, encourage you to keep a small toolbox with just wrenches and maybe a few screws or something. You never know when you'll need that. And duct tape. Okay, that's it. So um, I did, did everybody enjoy that? Did you? Did I miss something? I'm going to look right now. If I miss something, type it right now. Huh? A couple of questions. Okay. Uh, can you come here and tell me what the questions were? So there was a question, where did you get the filter? Oh, the filter. I got it on Amazon. The coffee filter, yeah, I got so this on Amazon. Something else, but I don't remember okay. I if I miss something, oh, yes. Jumper cables. That's right, JTS Outdoors. Jumper cables are very important. If you break down or say your battery goes dead, especially when you're using batteries for solar, you never know when you're going to hopefully don't use your engine battery. But if you do, at least somebody can jump you. Okay, jumper cables. Water storage ideas. Okay, I just see, saw that. So I use a five-gallon sparklets bottle. Thank you again, Van Life Rocks. Thank you. Um, water storage. You can buy two-gallon, three-gallon, five-gallon containers. You can use one-gallon containers. I have to use one-gallon containers because I can't lift the big ones. So I fill up a bunch of one-gallons and pour them into a five-gallon, which I keep in my truck. They also have collapsible water jugs. So... Um, there's just so many, so many ways to do that. Um, uh, water storage, like I, I did say, water is essential. You have to have a way to do it. Sharon Freeze, Freeze, what is her last name? Um, Sharon Freeman said 12 volt air compressor. That's good if you have to worry about not. If you don't want to have to worry about having a flat tire on the middle of nowhere, if you have a 12 volt air compressor, you can fill up the tires just to get to town till you get you can get your tire fixed. Okay, people, I I know I'm sure that I have missed a lot of the suggestions in the chat, and I will go back and always read the chat afterwards. And if anybody has missed something and you want to remember it, go back to this live stream. Even if you do it at a little faster speed, you know, go through and see the chat comments and see what you missed. You may have missed something. So I'm running out of time today. I hope I have enough time to do everything. Okay, I got some things in the mail. I don't do mail call very often, but I want to share this card that Blue Wave Audit Seed sent me when uh, he did his little last visit. He went to the Clyde Butcher Museum and he bought these black and white photographs car on cards. This guy is an artist and he does a lot of black and white photography. Not only did they send this card to me, he sent it from the smallest post office building in the U.S., from Ochopee, Florida. And he has actually mailed it from that still working post office, very small post office. So I want to share that with you. And I didn't ever say anything to Captain Jack. I want to thank him for his stickers. He sent me two of his stickers. I, I have uh, received a uh, win. Destination Delight came by, Crystal and her husband, and they shared uh, us, uh, gift care packages with us, a couple bags of all kinds of goodies we all shared. And she gave me this card. I don't, I'm not, never sure where to put this on the screen. And she sent me two of her stickers, very nice stickers, Destination Delight. So thank you. Thank you, Crystal. And then I also got uh, uh, Wool Nelly RV Adventure sent me a card, and she sent me her sticker. Wool Nelly RV Adventures. So thank you so much. And uh, who's the next one? Okay, real fast. I'm gonna do go kind of go through this really fast. 
Uh, I also received a beautiful card from somebody uh, a lot of you know, Jean Bainey, B-A-N-E-Y, and her channel is G-E, uh, sorry, J-E-A-N-N-E, Bainey. She does a lot of crafts. She makes beautiful journals, and she sent me this card. I don't know if it's getting in the screen. And along with the card, I'm going to have to go through this fast. She sent me some stickers I can put on things. She made this journal for me. Today is good a good day to be happy on the front cover. She made this journal out of paper bags. They have sleeves, little notepads, uh, little sticker uh, notes, cards that you slip in there, put trinkets in the pockets, just all kinds of things. One of the pages I just got a kick out of it. It says, turn to do into ta-da. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. Anyhow, the whole book journal is full of pages and little cards that you can write on and put little notes to remember things by. And I just love that she hand decorated every page. She did a beautiful job on this. On the back of it, it says random act of kindness, which is exactly what she gave me as a random act of kindness. Thank you, Jean Bainey. And the last thing I'm going to share with you is how she sent it. This lady is pretty artistic and very crafty. This is the envelope she hand-painted and decorated to send me all those little goodies in. Hope you can see that. It's hand-painted envelope. Imagine that. <laughs> Anyhow, it was wonderful. So let's see if I can get back to where I need to be. We're running out of time. I want to do one more uh, giveaway. And um, so the last giveaway, I will tell you, I might be able to, I don't think I can do a screen share. So again, nobody type in the chat just yet. Um, when I type in the word comment, then you're going to put a number in the chat. Hang on. Put a number in the chat. Be wow, 93 in the room? Oh, my gosh. Okay, put a number between 1 and 93 in the chat. This is going to be hard, guys. <laughs> put a number between 1 and 93. Only type the number one time, please. The first person with the correct number will be the winner of a special gift I'm sending from Amazon. It is going to be a four light set. It's USB operated. It looks like a light bulb and it can hang on anything like a hook or whatever you can hang it on. It lasts forever. Great lighting for campers, even in a closet or something, say a cabinet that if you don't camp in a cabinet or something where you have bad lighting. Uh, I'm going to send this gift out to the winner of the correct number. I hope everybody's typing in a number. Oh, I didn't put, I'm sorry. Guys, so you're following the directions really well. Okay, now you can type in a number. <laughs> wow, nobody typed in a number after I said that. Good job. You're listening. Fantastic. Type in a number between 1 and 93. And the first person that comes up with the correct number will be the winner of that light bulb set. I will get it out to you. If you, the winner will please email me with your shipping address so I could get this gift out to you this week. So thank you. So let's see how we're doing. Do we have some number coming in? I'm looking to see if I can. Everything's kind of frozen up on my end. Let's see how we're doing. Okay. There we go. I see some numbers. So if Scott and Roy can let me know if they see the number, I already told them what the number is. Not yet. We still don't have it yet. 
Let him guess again, B. Yeah, okay. All right. So, looks like I'm going to type in the word comment again. And this time I'll actually put it in the stream. And then you can put another number in there. Sandy M was the last one I saw. Or no, Step a Amy, I believe, was the last one. Okay, go ahead and type in a number again. Another number. Okay, I'm watching. But, boy, for some reason... Nothing. Hmm. Okay, here's some numbers coming up. Taking a while. <laughs> wow, come on, guys. <laughs> That's a lot of numbers to type between. I guess so. <laughs> I picked some good numbers, people. All right. If this doesn't work out, we'll type a number between. Tell them to go crazy. Well, yeah, go crazy. <laughs> go crazy because this is the first person that comes with the number in and out. Just go crazy typing numbers in there. We'll get the number, I'm sure, somewhere. I'm still watching. Wow. <laughs> Come on. There's only 92 numbers between 1 and 93. <laughs> That's all we have. To, minus 4, I saw that one. <laughs> uh oh, what did I just see? I thought I saw one. Maybe I didn't. Nope. Nope. Keep typing numbers at people because we still don't have it. Okay, stop. Everybody stop. Everybody stop. Okay, good. You're still listening. Good job. Okay, type a number. Hang on. You're still putting numbers. <laughs> still going crazy. If you come up with a number for, before I do this, let me know, guys. <clears throat> okay. You do? Yes. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, who was it? <laughs> I'll let you read it. Uh, just You're tell me. Casual girl. All right. Looks like we finally have the number. Number 19 was casual girl. Casual girl, congratulations. You won the light bulbs. And please send me an email with your shipping address so I can get that out to you this week. So that was kind of funny. <laughs> I think it went pretty well. What do you guys think? Have you had fun on the stream today? If you if you have had fun today, type FF in the chat, please. Okay, and the last thing I want to do before we go today. So... I'm not going to send you anybody to a new uh, live stream because you guys already know whose live streams are out there. But what I am going to do is type in, hang on, a thing in the chat. This is a link to James Cantonese, one of his videos. Please go over there, watch his video, please, and comment. Tell him in. Tell him you're there. To let him know you, you saw his video. And I wanted to help him get there. I don't even know how many subscribers he has. But he needs some subscribers. Loyal subscribers that come back and really like his content. So thank you for all the FFs. It sounds like everybody had a good time today. It's like I said, it was a totally different format. But I think... It went pretty well, <laughs> and uh, I'm glad that Blue Wave was able finally to take a break. <laughs> I had to take off the training wheels. Yes, I did. 
Okay, so go over now and check out James Cantonese. His video that I put in the link. Oh, you didn't. I'm so bad about this. Like, there we go. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> go check it out. And you're welcome to go and check out another stream, people. Please do. But um, check out James Cantonese first and then go to the stream. You're only lo going to lose five or ten minutes. <laughs> so please. Let's support this guy. He's a sweetheart. He's been so supportive of our community. He's always, always there, always commenting. He's been around for a while, and he never asked for anybody to do anything for him. He's just a sweetheart. So I really want to help his channel. Thank you, everybody, for coming. I had a really good time. And I hope you'll join me again next week and watch for my next videos that come out. And the wonderful comments you guys are all making. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anne. She said Bob would be proud of me. <laughs> I'm sure he may be either watching uh, while he's driving or something. He would not be able to comment. And I know he'll call me later. <laughs> so anyhow, thank you all for making this happen for making it possible for me to do this. We're t our time is up. So go on over, check out James Cantonese, and then go check out somebody else's live stream or something. Let's support each other. Thank you all for coming. Bye-bye.